Hi there, Adam here. Today we're going to do an XDA unboxing of the OPPO R819. Now, technically it's not actually going to be unboxed because this device doesn't actually have a box. But, for the purposes of an XDA unboxing, I think you guys know what we're talking about. OPPO has allowed me to tear this device down and we're going to take a look inside of it. Now this device actually has a dual SIM card, dual core processor, and a dedicated signal processor for the camera, which also includes the video capabilities. So let's get started. Alright, so here we've got the OPPO R819, aka the Find Mirror, as they call it. So, this device is uh, a mid-range device, and as you can see, it's running a fairly stock version of Android. Something to note that you don't see very often on Android devices these days is this kernel version is actually a 3.4.5, and the Android version is 4.2.1. So let's turn this thing right off. And we'll go ahead and use a case opener tool to separate the back from the device itself. We'll need to remove the SIM card, which is a dual SIM, in order to continue. And something to note that while I'm using a uh, while I'm using a case opener tool here, a much better option to use would be a guitar pick. However, unfortunately, I'm at the XDA DevCon, and I don't have all of my tools available. So now we'll remove these six screws, securing the e EM shield to the device. and the EM shield just comes right off. Now we'll want to remove this tape, which is securing the battery connector. This battery is a 3.8 volt, 2,000 milliamp hour. And now we can disconnect these connectors, and the board should just come right out. Ah, but first we gotta remove these two hidden screws. And two more connectors on the back. Here's a close up of the board for you guys. This is probably one of the smallest boards I've ever seen. Now this board does have a fairly good amount of formal coating on it. And although it doesn't have any impact zones, what I'm noticing here is that the board is actually fit inside of a metal frame onto the device. So that when it's in this frame, it actually resists impact via use of the structural form of the phone itself. This phone does have an aluminum frame all over it, which says to me that it would likely withstand impact fairly well. 